Hi everyone and welcome back to another video on turned data. So today we are going to solve the third question in data lemma series. The third question is page with no likes. That's the title. It's under SQL and uh, you can check out the company which is Facebook. So this question was asked in one of the Facebook SQL interviews in the past. So once you are here, you can simply go to this link. If you are not aware on how to access this page, just watch uh, my previous couple of videos where I have detailed it out. Or you can simply follow the link that is given right here. All right. So I'll go ahead and click here. So once you are here, uh, on the left, you have the question. This is one of the easy questions uh, from SQL. All right. So you have uh, assumed you are given two tables containing data about Facebook pages and their respective likes as in uh, like a Facebook page. Okay. Uh, you are asked to write a query to return the IDs of the Facebook pages that have zero likes. The output should be sorted in ascending order based on page IDs. All right. So it's a very straightforward query. We'll use a PostgreSQL uh, syntax to solve this. Now, just to detail you on the tables here, we have two tables. One is the pages table and the second table is page likes. Okay. So there are two tables and you are given the example inputs here. Now, uh, don't depend entirely on the example input because this is just a sample. The actual table may be a little different. Okay. So you go ahead and run your query on the right. This is the editor. So I'll say select star from pages. This is automatically given to you. Go ahead and run the code. So when you run the code, just scroll down. This is your actual table where you need to, uh, you know, which you need to run the query on. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, show you this table and the second table, which is page likes in a different, uh, a different sort of, you know, view altogether. So when you run both these tables, okay, so let me run the second query also for you. Select star from page likes, okay. Now, remember one thing, when you are running multiple queries on data lemur editor, uh, you cannot simply go ahead and select this query and run it, okay. It, it will not work. So if you try this, it will say there is no data to display, all right. So instead, what you can do is you can just comment out the previous query. So for that, you can use two hyphens or you can, if it's a multi-line query, you can just select the entire, you know, select the entire query and just press control and slash. So it will comment out the entire thing. Since we don't want to comment out the second one, I'm just removing the comments and I'll go ahead and run it. So this is your second table, all right? You have your user ID, page ID, like date. Let me just show you here. So this is your first table, okay? Pages, which has a page ID and a page name, okay? On the right, you have page likes, where you have the user ID, you have the page ID, and you have the like date. So uh, which user liked which page on which date, okay? Now the question is, you have to write a query to return the IDs of the Facebook pages that have zero likes. So how do you find that out? So let's, you know, let me show you what is the simplest way to check it. So always try to, you know, uh, mind map the query or, you know, just map the table so you can, you know, understand the question fully and try to answer it. So the question is, all you have to do is find out the page ID which has zero likes, okay? So let's do it one by one. So what I'm going to do is here, let's see uh, page ID 20,001, uh, 20, All you have to check is on the right, is there a page ID similar to this? So we can see it's already there, okay? See here and here, it's already appearing in multiple places. So what it means is there, somebody liked these, this page on multiple dates. So this is not needed in our output. Similarly, let's check 20045. It's already there. See, it's already there. So this is also not needed. What about 20701? Let's see. 20701 is not here in this list. That Which means 20701 is a potential output for us. Okay. What about 3 uh, followed by 1s? 
see it's already here so we don't want this what about 3 to 7 to 8 3 to 7 to 8 appears nowhere so this is also our potential output so basically your output should be 20701 and uh, in the second row it should be 3 to 7 to 8 and in the question it says uh, the output should be sorted in ascending order based on the page id okay so that is also one thing you need to remember that the smaller value should appear at the top now let's go ahead and try to figure out what the actual answer should be so i'm just removing all this okay so all i want is i basically want the page ids to appear and uh, basically wherever there are no likes that should be my output so i can use left join here okay or simply join here let me show you how so i'm going to type select let me zoom in a little okay select uh, what all do i need i need the page id okay i need the page id what else do i need i can also uh, take this like date column right so that i'll have the page id from this column okay i mean this table so we'll have the page id from this table and the like date as well along so what will happen is when i'm doing a left join uh, let me go back okay so when i'm doing a left join i will take all these values will appear in my result okay because everything from the left table will be available and uh, whatever are the matching uh, matching rows from the right column will also be visible to me okay so let me show you how select page id comma liked date okay from which table am i selecting this from pages okay and i'm going to do a left join you can do you can simply type join as well but just to be clear just to you know ensure that you are understanding topic well i'm using left join left join join it with the next table so what is the next table it's page underscore likes page underscore likes okay and we can also you know provide an alias for this so i'm going to say this is table p1 and i'll name this as p2 okay if you want you can use an as keyword here but that is not mandatory all right now once you use join you have to use the on condition so uh, of on clause so on what is the criteria so what is that one column which is common in both these tables it is page id right page id appears here and here as well so i'll say on p1 dot page id equals p2 dot page id now let's see what is the result okay i'm going to run this so if i just scroll down it says column reference page id is ambiguous okay it says page id is ambiguous that's because page id appears in both the tables right it appears in both the tables and i have not specified which page id i want to select here so i'll say p1 dot yeah i'll say p1 dot and then i'll run again so this time you can see my output gives me page id along with like date and if you scroll down you will see there are two entries which have no like date and this is exactly our output this is the output that we need all right so wherever we have a null in the like in the like to date column that's our output so how do we retrieve that you can simply add a where clause where like date is null okay that's all that's all you need to do if you want you can do p2 dot like date but since uh, like date is a column that appears only in the second table you know it only appears in the second table right in page likes so you don't really need to do p2 dot like date you can simply say like date is null okay now let's run the code there you go so you have your page id and you have your like date but the question is write a query to return the ids of the facebook pages okay so we just need the id so what we'll do is from our select statement we will simply remove the second column which will which is liked date okay now you run the query and you will get this output remember one thing you have to sort the output by in ascending order okay so you can simply say 
order by p1 dot page id go ahead and run it and there you go now how do you check whether your answer is correct or not you can check it by simply submitting it when you submit it on the left you can see if it is accepted or not for example if let's say i comment this order by out and run it so my output is a little different now right and if i try to submit it it says mis mismatch okay your query's output doesn't match with the solution's output because if you see the solution is the same but our output is what not in ascending order the expected output is in ascending order see that's why there is a mismatch okay so if i just go back and run it again submit it it will accept my solution now this is just one solution you can go ahead and check the solution tab to find out more alternate solutions to this there are there could be easier solutions there could be tedious solutions as well if you have a better solution than this you can go ahead and you know submit it in the discussions as well and you can uh, see your submission under the submissions tab okay uh, i hope it was helpful if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and uh, hit the like button if you are yet to subscribe to the channel kindly subscribe to the channel as well and if you post content somewhere on social media or you know if you want to post it on linkedin go ahead and uh, tag our channel that is turn to data hope this was helpful and i'll see you with another video uh, very soon thank you